bastard of Company Heroes 2. He's a legend of this scene. And we just saw a Von Ivan masterclass. And he painted Aura Badger all over the battlefield with no happy trees present. How do you feel about these commander choices, Elpen? I'm very excited. And I think uh, Boro Badger is smelling blood here. Of course, with the infamous special operations pick that has the ability Radio Silence. We'll see what he's gonna do with that thing. When Ivan, on the other hand, is picking the more laid-back approach, I'd say, Airborne. It's a safe pick, um, because no matter w which path you go when it comes to teching, you still have access to the other stuff uh, via this commander. Simulate the power of radio silence. I'm now going to make the chat radio silence. So uh, let's see how you feel if you can't uh, understand what's going on on the battlefield. Using audio, there we go. There's audio back. There's your UI back. And there is the subtle power of 40 munitions of radio silence. And, and Alpern, how do you feel about the fact that they buffed it to 1.2 times movement speed during radio silence? That is just... It was a sleeper hit, wasn't it? We never realised how powerful it was until Isilda and Nagano struck last tournament. Yeah, I mean, it's such a specific ability to counter such a specific playstyle. Um, I'm not really sure if it's too strong either, um, but at the same time, you know, it is a bit cheesy, I will admit. I will admit that. Don't we all love cheese, though? Cheese is great. It gives you a coronary heart attack when you're in your 50s, but those previous 40 years of eating cheese, mate, some of the tastiest food you'll ever have. So... <laughs> Who are I'm not really too? a cheese person, I will admit. I'm, I'm a very bland taste when it comes to cheese, I think. Fair enough, fair enough. Bland cheese person. <laughs> As <laughs> we have Borobadger forced away by the almighty M1 Garands. Mm -hmm. Taking that cutoff instantly from Borobadger. I think that's a solid play, even though it's just some, uh, some harassment, you know. He's going back in there, though. Yes, indeed. He wants that. But the Rifleman will... Ah, well timed by Borobadja. He waited for the Rifleman to be on the move. Then he pushed in with the Stern Pioneers. He's going to hold for the Folks Grandiers now. Stern Pioneers close the distance. They get that volley of Stern Gewehr fire off. Those assault rifles blazing. And he wins the cutoff. If it wasn't for that timing of the Stern Pioneers there, Elpen, it might not have happened for him. Yeah. We see here at the same time though, Borobatch actually uh, took on Ivan's cutoff, so it's uh, dit and that, you know, it's it's one win, one loss for both players here. And interestingly, Van Ivan only building two riflemen and then going straight into a 50 cal. That's a bit strange, but I do like it. I've never really thought of it before, uh, to not go three rifles, it does seem odd, it, it spells... To me, that he's not going to be going for bars or grenades, and it may read that way to his opponents also, but... I think it's more can... of a uh, M20 rush uh, change of pace. Usually okay. what you do is you... If you want to rush out the M20 as fast as possible, you only build two rifles before getting Lieutenant. Um, and then you get the third rifle. But he opted for the machine gun instead. And we see an ambulance here, so maybe I'm completely wrong. That's not an M20, that's an ambulance with no fire. Thank you, Alpern. <laughs> Alpern is on the western front. He can, can confirm it is indeed an ambulance. <laughs> <laughs> but that's weird. I, I was so on board with your M20 call then, Alpern. And I still think it makes sense. But we're having an ambulance instead. Fair enough. Maybe yeah, he's I'm, going 50 cal spam. He could be going 50 cal spam. That's another opportunity for him. Folks, Grandy is coming with an epic incendiary grenade there. Ooh, that's going to burn. Oh, it is. Look at the model drops. 50 cals are trying to set up, and they do indeed. Here they go. However, he's behind green cover. He's going to circumvent. I'm telling you, Alpen, Borough Badge is winning this game so far. Hey, it does look so, at least when it comes to engagement, but at the same time, map control-wise, when Ivan is just pumping in more resources, he's just holding the map so well. Um, it's just impressive. 
don't know. I, I see what you're seeing. But I also think that just borrow. If we look at the stats, let's have a little look at that. Oh, it's okay. Fair enough. It's really equal. Ignore AE. That's the new mantra of 2021. If I've made a call and I feel a player's winning, just don't listen to me. Anyway. I'm I must say the the ambulance was not a bad call because of that final engagement where <laughs> when Ivan took a ton of damage, so it wasn't a bad call at all. I just didn't see it happening. I thought an M20 would be the clear choice there, but it seems to be a steward. He already has the the upgrade, the mechanized platoon command post, so he has options. We see a oh, flash off track as well from Boro. Sorry, mate. I tried to pip in just as you finished talking there. It's... Many arguments with the uh, significant other have uh, taught me that ability, but I, I haven't learnt your pattern yet, Alpern. I need to wait for the slight hesitation in breath, and I'll be in there like a viper yeah. coiled to strike. But my point was that Nathan, uh, sorry, Marlo909 in chat says, uh, I've never seen such good preservation from Vaughn. And I have to say, this guy's really kicked it up a notch this year. He's, he's playing with a little bit more preservation, and it just might be what he needs to force him over the edge and back into top tier contention in these tournaments. And I, A, he has predicted him to win this tournament this uh, weekend. Before I heard he did a 22 hour no sleep build up, I must say. But even so, I will stick to my uh, prediction because I'm stubborn like that. That's just classic Van Ivan. Black half truck about to open up fire here. Pushing the rifles away from his fuel. As we see the steward cooking. Oh, I love it. What Never love? heard that voice line before. USF in the blizzards. Oh. Be advised, extreme weather conditions. Or whatever. Uh, but it's, it's really cool. Never heard that voice line. Do you think it's referring to the actual weather or just for a badger's... Uh, Fifth, uh, black half track, which is going to take a beating. He's using the smoke though, but that still might actually go down. Could do. He's got the 50 cal on the armor piercing rounds, but he needs the line of oh. sight. And to that, he's now left himself exposed bitterly to the Sturmgewehr fire. Looks like he'll be fine, but the flak re-emerges. It's ugly head. And uh, he should be fine, but that could have been a lot worse. Yeah, just really well played from Boro there. I think if he could have probably gone a bit deeper, but at the same time, I see why he didn't. It's just safer, safe play from Boro, saving the, the flag there from the 50 cal incendiary rounds. I'm just going to rotate the camp to see if the snow, indeed, we are facing into the snow here, and that is rather beautiful, so let's just have a look at that. Go and find this Stuart's first action in the center over there. There it is. Short face coming into ourselves, looking for a target. Has it found one? Don't forget the fog of war is very cumbersome. Faust hits it. I'm not watching a yeah. really Hollywood movie right now. There's no follow-up. Uh, Raketten is cooking, but it's back in base. So that Stuart's going to get out of there. With no fear, I believe. We do have a blob building up here in Bordeaux. And the ability is ready, as the Brits like to say. Do they? We could see. Maybe. Some of them. <laughs> Perhaps. The ones with the speech <laughs> impediments. <laughs> anyway, you got the Stuart gets out of there. Oh, the power droppers get very frontal in our camera there. Nice landing, nice landing. The engine is fixed as Raketten sits up in position. Should be fine here. When I was just trying to hold the bay, essentially, with the 50 cal. But the map is looking very much in Von Ivan's favor. The map control is undeniably just insane for Von Ivan here, I think. Certainly is. This guy, he just creeps upon you. He's got that top tier playstyle where his feel for the game, his feel for the engagements, the strategic push and pull of the uh, territory sectors is fantastic. He knows where yeah. to apply pressure and he knows when not to. And uh, I'm just it, looking at the money income here. 68 munitions per minute. That's a lot of bars very fast. Um, we'll see where Van Ivan takes this, this game. He hasn't got the barracks upgrade quite yet. Um, but doesn't mean he's not going to get it. It's a good call. 
You could also start using the munitions to para drop various implements of destruction. He has not gone captain. So if he needs an M1, he can drop it from the sky, of course. Mm -hmm. We see a league from Bora Badger. Hmm. Very interesting pickup. I guess he's recognizing the, the threat of the, the 50 cals. He spilled two of them, though. I, I always say ISGs are best in twos. But, um, you know, same with mortars, actually. In, you know, one's kind of underwhelming, but two can really begin to pay dividends. It's really odd. It's the mortar effect. You double down on indirect fire in one versus ones, in my opinion. What do you uh, think uh, about that, Alpen? I, I don't know. I'm not. I, I'm not. I'm just gonna step in the shoes of a critic here, and I'm gonna say that every unit is probably better in twos than in ones. But, <laughs> okay. You know, I, I can see your point at the same time. Yeah, two um, king tigers. My, that's my favorite strategy. <laughs> Lieutenant dies. Ooh. Von Ivan strikes, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Von Ivan we grew up watching. None of this preservation shite. No. Lose everything and then kill later on with a massive push when it, you actually, absolutely have to. That's what we want to see. The imperfect. Just, you, you know, it's, I think it's just opening up some pop cap there and I think it's all planned. <laughs> we see a grenade on the flag, half <laughs> God, I love it. I mean, I he's, got, he's got the resources. Guy. He's got, you know, why not? Uh, why not? <laughs> well, I haven't just remembered who he was, basically. He was playing like a <laughs> tournament champion, like a Zelda in disguise, and then he realized, oh wait, I'm Von Ivan. Time to lose a squad and throw a grenade at a half track. Yeah, and this winter is reminding me of Christmas, Cap Klaus. <laughs> of course, uh, Von Ivan's been going to Russia a lot recently, so maybe he's right at home in the snow. Ooh, or he might go down here as well to the flag. Just Apparently makes not. it out of there. Our supply line just got cut off. Drew gets a cheeky yes. shot in. Drew is going right past everything. Gonna find the ISG. Paquette then trying to get a sh shot in. Not working. And it's just dodging all the snares. Seemingly so. What was that recon run from the steward? Your ability? Yeah. <laughs> just excellent game sense by Von Ivan to have a, such a great feel for where everything is. You know, he just knows where he can push and when he can't. He's, he's the master of exploiting holes. That's on his Tinder profile, by the way. But he, he is. He's, he's great at it. Bora Boucher trying to get the map back slightly. He's League is getting pushed away. He's very focused on the far right right now. He's trying he to is. get the Schwerer up. We've seen Major out already from Van Ivan. He's going to have a vehicle within a minute's time. It would make sense that the player playing as OKW is very focused on the far right, but in this case, Alpha is, of course, discussing the map. But look at this rifleman! So low and oh. so dead. Bora Badger's setting up his fair. I tell you what, he's, he's bunkering up for the late game here, Alper. He just needs to keep control of the victory points, however, because he is now officially under a triple cap. And he's down to 200. Um, I would like to see some more utilization of the radio silence here from Bora. He picked the uh, Doctrine for a reason. Um, he's just not getting those opportunities, it seems. Unfortunately for Borrow, though, I suppose, I mean, Von Ivan has a balanced tack map usage profile. It's not like Love Nest or Asilda or any of these famous tack map players like Asiamant, etc. He just uses it when he has to. Oh, I'm, I'm hyped. We see a Scott. Sorry for interrupting you there. Oh, but you don't have to be. I, I, I just like the new Scott. I think it's a very cool vehicle. What's so new about it? What does it do differently? You tell it, me. It, it's, it's worse, so it's less cheese and more... Uh, you know, straight. It's like a steward now, I think, but a better really? steward. Yeah, you could still use the range, but it's way worse damage, twice. You like it because it's worse. Yes. <laughs> Spoken like a true I mean, competitive it, it, player. It's, in, it's interesting because before it was kind of, I, I want to say stupid. I think it was stupid before. Now I just really like it. I think it's fair. I mean, Help it's still them. hard to deal with. But, You're revealing yeah. yourself to be a competitive player because if you asked a 4v4 <laughs> player what their favorite unit was, they'd go, STAM TIGER! Yay! You ask Alper, I like the Scott because it's fair. 
the fuck are you Legolas or something? Are you like, you know, you know what I mean? If this is a Lord of the Rings character, which one are you? You're very much, uh, you're very spirited. Very noble is the word I'm looking for. As we see here in chat, point, getting pointed out, we have a blizzard happening anytime soon. And of course, the Scott is going to be excellent during a blizzard. Because he can just shoot from safe distance. I won't die in the cold as well. Even though it has a Christian name, you'd think it was a person. It is indeed a tank, I can confirm. Or a motorized howitzer carriage. Uh, Self-propelled gun, maybe? I'm not sure where. Oh, I just call everything tanks these days, mate. I think anybody that says a thing that is made of metal and shoots with the tracks isn't a tank is an asshole. Uh, actually, it's, it's an armoured fighting vehicle case, mate. Tank destroyer. <laughs> I think he'll find. Mate, does it have tracks and shoot people? It's a tank then, isn't it? I haven't had sex yet. <laughs> you know that kind of that kind of thing. It's the way I see that conversation going. Yeah, let, let's not offend the entire community. Uh, no help. <laughs> that is not how my streams tend to go. <laughs> if it's a if it's a tracked wheelie wheelie point and shooty, it's a tank. Everybody, that we've discovered that today. That's how it goes. I don't care. Stuart comes in. It's now on nine kills. The Scott. What happened to the Scott helper? He's still shooting. Okay, okay. It's, it's, so, so it's got three kills repaired now. Fair enough. Yep. See here, Bora Badger is down to 90 DPs. He needs to grab those bloody points. And well, there's a Scott there. So, how do? You, what do you do? Well, if you try and grab them, you're gonna explode. And and that's not a good day for anybody when you explode. Yeah, not sure if that's enough. I mean, you're freezing to death as well, right? It's just a horrible position to be a German. It's a bad day to be a German, as they say in um, whatever that movie. We need our pop culture <laughs> reference. Can you we fix do it? Indeed, for our bingo. <laughs> bad day to be a German. I've not, I've not particularly seen that movie, but I can <laughs> confirm that British uh, Grenadiers have completed the cap. Oh, we see a second Scott. Oh, yes. Alpern's so mat full mast right now. He's just ridiculous. They call them the human tent, apparently. <laughs> but uh, we got two Scots on its way. We got a 50 cal. He can't see shit. This this 50 cal can't see anything. Look at that. There you go. He can see something now. He's already been flanked. Borrow Badger is in his full elements, the Northern Irishman. Look at the center. There's a 50 cal in front of the raquette, but they can't see each other. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Elpen. So the sad. Me Mexican standoff. But they're not aware of it. Very sad. Let's go to cinematic mode, shall we? And just enjoy the blizzard effects. In fact, we'll face into the blizzard because I think that's cooler. Report the weather is lifting. Stand by for confirmation. Oh, the flak. Half track's ready to go because the uh, weather can conditions you have changed. Hey, can you believe it? Check when I was build order. Three Scots! Three my Scots! Oh my god, it's Christmas Day in Sweden. This it's is incredible Scott, stuff, Scott. Jeffrey. <laughs> One Scott, uh, 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 two Scots. <laughs> He's not even <laughs> using the second one. This guy is is toying with us all right now. He's making Bora Badger, you know, it's like one of those squash matches in in wrestling. You know, when they they don't pin the guy and instead decide to spin him around his head and taunt the crowd. Sign a few autographs, perhaps. I mean, Boris just struggling for the VPs, and with these Scots, we see artillery as well on the raquette. And Bora Badger does notice. And speaking of Bora Badger, he's about to actually be able to field a Panzer IV. Imagine that Panzer IV running rampant like a fox in the chicken coop. <laughs> All those Scots just running away. That could be our future, you know. That's a lovely picture I get in my head. Irishman chasing the American hens away. <laughs> I download that torrent. <laughs> right. Scots, there's war on every side of the map apparently. This MG does not stand a chance. Let's just constantly check on the Scots. Oh my god. I mean, 40 VPs remaining for Bora Badger. It's looking very green here. 
Von Ivan is playing with his food. Like a cat that's found a spider. In this case, Borobaj has three legs remaining. And uh, a very happy cat. Look at that MG34 get obliterated. Yeah, that's rough. I guess he got scotted. You know, the Irish fighting against the Scots. It's like history all over again. <laughs> Is it? <laughs> oh, I, I remember the great Irish Scott inter Gaelic Wars of, of 1872. <laughs> they were, they oh, were fighting. Here we go. The hell? Oh, here we go. This could be the great comeback. Vision blocked, however. Scott weird. wheels away. The passport can't do anything. Oh, misses, however, the Panzer IV. Now the Airborne are going to get rounded up and possibly yeah, squished. that machine gun is not alive anymore. Thank you, Dr. Alper. <laughs> uh, your husband is not alive anymore. <laughs> As the Airborne take the point, 20 victory points continue to dick down. We've had more destruction on the northern victory point apparently as the vet three scotty jumps out and he continues the cap with the vehicle crew von ivan's having fun with us in his crazy 24 hours no sleep dream states von ivan's just on a, a scott rampage Panzer he, must have had a, he must have had a cup of coffee before this game i believe he's just on the top of everything oh and in the center the Germans. Oh, I tell you what, though. He's been able to kill the vehicle crew up there. No, he hasn't. The vehicle crew, sorry. He jumped back in the Scott. He's still got three Scots alive. Sorry, he stopped the cap in the north. Five Check VPs remain. Yeah. He's dropping airborne on the center. <laughs> Flax waiting for him, however. Panzer IV pushes in. Scots reverse away. All three of them. Here comes that Panzer IV, the Elpern. How, which way is this game going to go? Meanwhile, in the north, airborne with the Thompsons pushing. They force away the vehicle crews. One VP ticks down. EG Von Ivan takes it. Cracking. Scots proved superior. <laughs> what a game. <laughs> What madness. A look at this beautiful image. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm going to have to uh, print screen that for YouTube thumbnails because this is just silly. <laughs> there you go. Might look like checkmate there, but no, no, no. Ah, this is the uh, the relic developers when designing the map Feynmanville. What would be a good thumbnail for this map? Ah, yes. Panzer IV versus three Scots. It makes perfect sense. And here we go. All right, thanks, guys. We're now going to game three. Let's see if Von Ivan's memory and destruction continue as uh, his dreamlike state becomes a nightmare for Bora Badger. Alpern, have you seen the argument sketch by Monty Python? I know you're a Monty Python fan. <laughs> I have, I think. If you, if you, it was where where he walks in and says, "Hello, I'm looking for an argument." Oh, no, you're yeah. not. 